Welcome to Vintage Weights PGH. Today I'm going to show you some Billard standard weight plates and the many variations that Billard Barbell put out. So some quick history. Billard Barbell was around from about the 1950s through the 1980s, maybe even a little into the 1990s, and famously they sold their plates in department stores and sporting good outlets. 1959 Mr. Universe Bruce Randolph would put on demonstrations and was a spokesman for them. And apparently the Billard Company had a really good softball team. Their company softball team was nationally ranked. Now, as far as the standard plates, if you're unaware, standard plates refer to plates that have a approximately one inch center hole, whereas Olympic plates have a two inch center hole. And I will put out a video soon that has to do with Billard's Olympic plates. But for now, let's sort out these standard plates because I think they're quite distinct, a lot of them, and easily confused. The earliest that I have found and first made would be the dimpled edge plates, as they are sometimes called. Billard put out a thick, dimpled standard plate, and if you look at the edge, you will see the little dots that are nicknamed dimpled, or dimples, I guess you should say. And they put out a thin or narrow that also had a dimpling pattern on the edge. The patterns on the edge are slightly different. You will see, for example, with this one, that there's a greater content concentration of dimples on the narrow, the thin, versus the way the dimples are spread out on the thick. The other thing to note would be that there are a lot of variations in terms of the script that's written on them. The thick have billard barbell with the number of pounds and the thin have billiard barbell sometimes with the number and pounds just like the thick and other times they have just a B for billiard and then on the back is the number and pounds. Sometimes the thin has billiard barbell on the front and the B on the back. Sometimes the thick doesn't have anything on the back. So you will find a lot of variations in terms of the script and the lettering and the numbering on the dimpled plates. When it comes to the color, Billard put out a gold set that has gold paint, like this one. And it is not uncommon for me to find rusty Billard plates that I treat with oxalic acid and then reveal a gold paint. They also put out, straight from the factory, a black colored plate. These have been repainted, but they're not too far off from the factory black colored plate. So you might find gold, you might find black. Moving on from this series, Billard then put out a line of plates that were quite similar to others of their time. So the double rimmed standard plate, you might see a Roberts plate similar to this, uh, Weeder, York, there are a lot of plates that look like this. What I found to be different though would be the font that was used. There is a rounded peak font, I guess I'll call it, where it says Billard Barbell, and then it has the pounds and the kilograms, and the letters come up to a rounded peak. Versus a flat topped font, same script, same numbering, so billiard barbell, the pounds and the kilograms, but 
the lettering is flat. I'm not sure which one came first, or if they coincided at the same time, or if there's a rhyme or reason to one versus the other, but I have noticed this difference between the two plates. Sometimes flat, sometimes rounded script. After that, Billard put out their Pro Series standard plates. I don't have any right now, but they are very similar to this Hoffman plate, and I wouldn't be surprised if one copied the other. I'd probably wager that Hoffman copied Billard. Don't have any proof right now of that. But this is quite similar. Sometimes I see the Billard Pro standard plates listed as deep dish. I don't consider them a true deep dish. However, they are somewhat deep, especially for a standard plate. They have a deep set face on them. And instead of the Hoffman H, they say Billard Pro. And then around the center hub, similar to this Hoffman saying made in the USA, they say made in the USA as well. So although this is a Hoffman Industries plate, the final and most recent that I can tell Billard standard plate is similar to it, the Billard Pro. I hope this helps you sort out the Billard plates that you may or may not find. The ones that I see questioned about the most would be the B plates that don't have Billard barbell anywhere, it just says B. You can rest assured though that if they are dimpled on the edge and they have a B, they're from Billard. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. This is Vintage Weights PGH. Remember, old weights, new gains.